Gentlemen, the ceremony is just about to start. I just need to make a couple of very quick announcements. First of all, can I ask anybody who's got mobile phone to switch it on to silent, please? And could I also ask that you don't take any photographs just while I'm conducting the ceremony, unless you are this lady here, who is our official <laughs> photographer. You are very welcome to take pictures of our bridal party as they're coming in, um, and hopefully we'll be able to give you some time at the end to take photographs, just not while the ceremony is taking place. And we've also had a special request from our bride. Any photos taken, can we please not post them on social media? Okay. Until we have. Until we have, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, can I ask you all please to stand to greet the bride. Everybody would like to have a seat again, please. So I'd like to welcome you all to the Old Mill today, and a very warm and a very special welcome goes to our bride and our groom. So Daniel, for the last time today, could you tell me your full name, please? Daniel William Roy Guthrie. And Melanie, your full name, please. Melanie Catherine Tucker. Thank you. Daniel and Melanie would like to thank you all for coming today to celebrate their new life together as a married couple. It means a great deal to them that you can be here today to share in their happiness and to witness their marriage vows. Marriage requires devotion, the ability to listen, the wisdom to know when you're wrong and the humility to put things right. But above all, it requires unquestioning love. Daniel and Melanie... You are each other's first consideration, first priority, and first responsibility. Never take each other for granted. Never be too old to show affection. Take pride in each other's achievements and support and encourage each other. Build on your mutual respect and admiration for one another. Laugh often and love one another always. Remember that love is the comfort and companionship that only two people who are the best of friends can truly enjoy. The old mill in which we are now met has been duly sanctioned according to law for the celebration of marriages. We are gathered here today to witness the joining in matrimony of Daniel William Roy Gortry and Melanie Catherine Tucker. If any person present knows of any lawful impediment to this marriage, they should declare it now. No, 
So today, Daniel and Melanie have chosen to make their vows in the presence of you all. And this marriage is an expression of their hopes for the future and their belief in one another. In each other's company, they have found happiness, fulfilment and love. And they now wish to affirm their relationship and to offer to each other the security that comes from legally binding vows. Sincerely made and faithfully kept. I'm going to ask you each the same question. It's just the part where you say binding. Daniel, do you promise to share your life with Melanie, to love, support and comfort her, whatever the future may bring? I do. And Melanie, do you promise to share your life with Daniel, to love, support and comfort him, whatever the future may bring? I do. Thank you. So before you're joined in matrimony, I have to remind you both of the solemn and binding character of the vows you're about to make. Marriage means the union of two people voluntarily entered into for life to the exclusion of all others. So I'm now going to ask each of you in turn to declare that there are no legal reasons why you can't be married to each other. So I'm going to ask you each the same question. If you're happy, you just need to respond with the words, I am. Are you, Daniel William Roy Gortry, free lawfully to marry Melanie Catherine Tucker? I am. And are you, Melanie Catherine Tucker, free lawfully to marry Daniel William Roy Gortry? I am. Thank you. The vows that Daniel and Melanie make to each other today are twofold in nature. In the first, we've ensured that there is no legal impediment to their marriage. Now in the second, they will solemnly promise to take each other as partners for life. So as the moment has come for Daniel and Melanie to contract their marriage in front of you, their witnesses, could I ask you all to please stand? So the two of you would like to turn to face each other, and if you'd like to join both hands for me. And then, Daniel, if you would like to repeat after me. I, Daniel William Roy Gortry. I, Daniel William Roy Gortry. Take you, Melanie Catherine Tucker. Take you, (laughs) To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. Thank you very much, Melanie, if you'd like to repeat after me. I, Melanie Catherine Tucker. I, Melanie Catherine Tucker. Take you, Daniel William Roy Gortry. Take you, <coughs> Daniel William Roy Gortry. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. Lovely, thank you very much. And now we come to the exchanging of the rings. So if all the guests would like to take their seats again, apart from Ashley, who I believe has the ring. If you can, can you come around this way? I just pop them on the table for me. That's lovely, thank you very much. Right there as well. So you have both chosen to give and receive rings, and a ring is an unbroken circle which will symbolise your everlasting love. So Daniel, if you can take the last ring and take her left hand. That's right, place the ring just halfway down, okay? And then holding it there and looking at her, repeat after me. This ring is a token of my love. This ring is a token of my love. And a sign of the promise. And a sign of the promise. I make to you today. I make to you today. Okay, so if you'd like to place the ring all the way on her finger. Lovely. And then can you do the same for me, please? Mouse to take his left hand, place the ring halfway down. That's lovely. Hold it there and repeat after me. This ring is a token of my love. This ring is a token of my love. And a sign of the promise. And a sign of the promise. I make to you today. I make to you today. Okay, if you'd like to place the ring all the way on, that's lovely. And then if you'd like to join both hands again for me, thank you. Okay. So, Daniel and Melanie, you have both made the declarations required by law and you've made a solemn and binding contract with each other in the presence of your two witnesses and the rest of your guests who are here today. We all hope the feelings of love and commitment which you've both expressed here today will deepen and grow throughout the coming years. And it therefore gives me very great pleasure to declare that you are now husband 
and wife, you may kiss the bride. <laughs> for a moment. And ladies and gentlemen, to conclude the ceremony, I think Juliet's going to come and read for us. <laughs> Stand in the middle for us. I, um, I didn't choose this, they did. <laughs> um, we are all a little weird, and life's a little weird. And when we find someone whose weirdness is compatible with ours, we join up with them and fall in mutual weirdness and call it love. Thank you. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, we're just going to be busy with paperwork up here for a few minutes. We're trying not to keep you too long. We're going to have some more music played, but please do feel free to chat amongst yourselves and then we'll have time for some photographs. <laughs>
photographs at the same time if you could just stay in your seats because it's quite small and you're very welcome to stand up and take photographs.